Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a beautiful morning. Uh, day number two of our northern trip. A little bit, a little bit crispy this morning, uh, but it's going to warm up. We're going to set some tip-ups here, try to catch some uh, pike, and then jig around, try to catch some some crappies, maybe, probably not. I saw a crappie in one hole that I already drilled, uh, but I think for right now, I'm just going to put this camera away and just run with the chesty till I start catching some fish. Uh, yeah, and then maybe set the tent up, make some lunch, you know, that kind of stuff. But uh, let's get a let's get a tip up out, and then I'll and I'll talk to you guys. Uh, talk to you guys in a minute. <laughs> We already got a freaking flag up, boys. Oh, she's running too. I think it's stuck. You might need to. Done? That didn't take long. There you go, folks. I'm assuming I started recording. All right. I'm going to start off. Wait for my tip up. This is the hole I saw some crappies in. Just gonna drop down on them, bud. Definitely seeing some movement down there. I know there's perch. Got a plenty of perch fun in yesterday though, so won't be sticking around long if it's just perch. Still rocking that little freaking dinner bell. Oh, I got a flag. I got a flag, boys and girls. I got a flag. Oh, got my camera. Got him. Very small. No other. This guy's really small. I think it's a pike. Assuming it's a pike. Ah, that was really stupid. What'd you do? Put my hand in the hole. Oh. Pike? Yeah, really small. He didn't really get that thing in his mouth, but I saw him. I got my hand on him. I guess that counts for something. We got another flag! <laughs> Grab the camera. Oh, she's moving too. She's moving. This is going to be some crazy ass action today, boys. Let's hope it's Mr. Parkin Briggs. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, this one's fighting a little bit. No, no, it's not. It's fighting weird. Did you grab the cam? Oh, grab the camera. It's running like hell. It's coming easy though. Oh yeah. Not huge. Oh, calm down. Got it. Oh, not bad. Get the fires. Well, you can run to the bait store. Alright, there we go. Probably, what would you say, 26? Yeah. Something like that. We'll grab a quick pick and then we'll send her back. All right, there we go. My first actual landed one of the day, probably 26, nice and fat. Just gonna send her back. Nice wide bodied fish. Woo! I mean, that thing, that thing ran, but it came in easy, so. 
we're just gonna reset her and try to catch another one. Between maybe catching crappies, we'll see. Oh, not perch. Well, it's not huge, but not a bad kill. Just on a. Oh, you can have that waxy. I'm gonna go straight waxy because they weren't liking the plastic. Matt. Yes. I just caught the most giant perch ever. Look at this beastie. About the size of my pinky. Look. Bye. <laughs> no, I just had this one on, so. Oh, can you come to grab my deucer? Hang on. Oh, first time I lose my jig. Cool. I thought you had a crack. No, I'll figure it was at best a walleye. I think it's time to retie. Bye. Time to retie. Four pound test is just fine for pike like that. Not two times in a row though. There we go. Uh. I think we got one of those. It's fighting hard. Yep. Oh, shoot. Yep. If this is a crappie. This would be an intensely large crappie. Yeah, there's no way this is a crappie. Folks, this is like two pound line, or three pound line. So I'm probably gonna lose him. Oh, what is that? Oh. There we go. Oh, nice. That's a gorgeous. Gorgeous looking bass, right? And okay, this is why I like these jigs. Right in the nose, wasn't going anywhere. It's actually a lot better than I thought. Oh, that's, yeah, I mean, it's probably two pounds. Here we go, folks. This was a beautiful, beautiful northern Minnesota largemouth bass. Came up, just crushed a little waxy, as you guys saw there. Probably about two pounds. Nice, fits perfectly in the six inch hole. I'm just gonna send her back. I can't get over how gorgeous that looks. Yeah, what a beautiful day. It's been a lot of fun. It's just gorgeous out, like just below freezing, but yeah, got a tip up spread. Not gonna be here for too much longer. We're gonna try to kick it out to some other lakes, but uh, yeah, let's keep let's keep grinding and see what we can get. Oh, thank you. This is freaking first class service, dude. Did you get someone to bring you muffins? 
Is that what your guys are doing when you're out on the ice? The only thing is this fish is leaving me. No! Come back! Oh, there we go. Now he's coming back. Mm. I'm a foodie, ladies and gentlemen. And that's some good food. Oh, there he is again. Dude, your flag is up. Dude, your flag is up. Still spinning. Oh, he heard me. Dude, your flag is up. Feels pretty decent. Ooh, fat but small. Short but fat. This guy kept stealing our stealing our bait. Hopefully he won't make that mistake again. Well, Good fighter. This is a big dog. Oh yeah, it's there. There we go. Small. Real small. You can't even fish for panfish. Great. All the deep? No. Oh. <laughs> Some folks. Ah, there we go. A lot of little crackhead pike like these. Just destroyed my rig though. Folks, if you want to see how we rig these tip-ups, um, and again, not using any kind of weights or anything. Um, there'll be a video linked up top um, where I did, I talked about how I actually rig these tip-ups. So, yeah, it's 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 fluorocarbon. So, yeah, check it out. That'll be linked up there. But I think we're gonna. I need to dress down a little bit. I'm getting pretty freaking hot out here. So, let's get back to the old pan fishing bass game. There we go. It's not big, but it's, I can't tell. Oh, okay, okay. That's a decent gill. Gorgeous, gorgeous, probably eight and a half inch hand sized bluegill right there. Remember, I got big hands. Um, yeah, haven't had much pike action. Just gonna send him down. Fills up that uh, six inch hole. Haven't had much pike action, so we're probably gonna piece out of this lake uh, pretty soon. But gonna fish for another, I don't know, 25 minutes, 20 minutes or so. So. Try to get some more of them, that's for damn sure. <sighs> well, y'all, uh, bite definitely lulled out a little bit. Uh, we're actually have to head back to the cities. We are going to hit one more lake before we head back. Um, 
definitely a long drive ahead of us, but we're gonna try one more spot before we before we call it a weekend. Um, mostly for pan fish. It's gonna be a bit of a hike, so uh, we're gonna pack out of here, drive out of this uh, dirt road, and get on to the next spot. There we go. Boys and girls, that's what we came here for. And of course, I don't have a measuring tool. Look at that freaking gill. That's probably not quite a 10, but that's a good solid, you know, nine inch gill right there. I'm just gonna send her freaking back. Oh, I think we freaking found him. We're just gonna drop down again. I don't, I'm not marking anymore, so we'll see what freaking happens. But but we may have found the big gills. We may have found the big gills. We're gonna punch a couple more holes and find out. Mm -hmm. 